I am going to show you how to replace this default Flutter icon when you create a new Flutter project by a custom icon like this one. If this is something that you would like to learn, keep watching. For every single app that you create using Flutter, you get a Flutter logo as your app icon. This default icon is good for the development phase of the app, but when comes the time to publish it on the app stores, surely you will want to change this icon. So, how do you give your apps a custom icon? There are two ways to do that, manually, by doing all the steps yourself, or automatically, using a package. We will implement both approaches in this video. Depending on what you are looking for, feel free to jump to the corresponding section in the video description or in the breakdowns below. Let's start with the manual approach. Because our apps will be installed on devices with different sizes and resolutions, the first thing that we need to do is generate different icon sizes from our initial icon that we have here. Fortunately, there is a website called appicon.co that does exactly that. So, let's head to this website. First, we will drag and drop our icon file into this placeholder. They require a 1024 by 1024 image file. Then, we're going to select the platforms we want to create an app icon for. In our case, we will select iPhone, iPad, and Android. Leave the file name empty and click Generate to download a zip file with the generated icons. Now, the zip file is downloaded. Let's extract it. Inside this folder, as you can see, we have a folder for Android and another one for iOS. Those two image files are for when you will publish your app on the app stores. If you would like me to make a video on how to publish your app on the app stores, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you open the Android folder, We've got some mipmap folders that contain different sized icons. It's the same for iOS. The generated icons are inside the assets.xc asset folder. Now, the next step is to actually move these icon files into our project. More specifically, we will add them to the iOS and Android native folders in our project hierarchy. Let's start with Android. We will navigate to this path. Android app, src, main, res. Here, we have again the mipmap folders, which contain this time the default app icon files generated by Flutter and a launch screen image if you have added one. By the way, if you would like to know how to add a splash screen to your app, I've made a video on that. I will put the link in the description below and in a card above. Now, we need to move the icons we generated to the corresponding mipmap folders to replace the default icons. Let's quickly do that. That was for the Android side. Now, for iOS, we will navigate to this path. iOS, runner, assets.xc assets, app icon dot app icon set. For now, in this folder, we have the different resolutions of the default Flutter app icon. What we want to do is to replace this app icon that app icon set folder by the one we downloaded earlier. To do that, let's first delete it, then drag and drop this app icon that app icon set folder to the assets.xc assets folder that is in our project. Now that we have replaced the default icons by our own icons for Android and iOS, Let's test it. We'll start with an Android device. If everything went well, we should see our new icon instead of this one here. Let's minimize the app to see the icon. As expected, we have replaced the default for the icon by our custom icon. Let's also test it in the iOS simulator. As expected, we have our new icon. Even though I think it's important to know those steps when we develop our apps, it's also true that not everyone will want to repeat them each time that they have to change their app icons. Fortunately, there is a way to automatically generate the different icon sizes and place them in the correct platform folders. We can do that using the Flutter Launcher Icons package. As you can see, it's a very popular package with a lot of likes. 
I personally use it to generate the icons in all my Flutter apps. To install this package in our project, we will first add to this installing tab and copy this line of code. Then we will go back to our project in VS Code, open the pubspec.yaml and paste it under the dev dependencies. Let's click the get packages icon to get the latest packages. Now that we've installed the Flutter Launcher icons package, we need to add our app icon file to our folder in our project hierarchy. I have already added mine and it's under assets, images, icon.png. But you can place this file wherever you want inside of your project. Now, let's go back to our pubspec.yaml and start configuring the newly installed package. For that, we'll paste this code here under the package. Those are some configuration properties for our Flutter icons. Here, we set the image path to where we've stored our icon file, which was assets, images, icon.png, and we set Android and iOS to true. This tells the package to generate the icons and replace the existing ones for both Android and iOS. If you don't want to generate icons for a platform, you can set it to false. We can also make this more specific. For example, by adding image path iOS and image path Android, that would allow us to add a different icon for each platform. That means it will generate a specific icon for both iOS and Android. And in that case, we will not need this line. But we will not do that right now. So let's comment on those and just use the image underscore path. You can read more about those attributes and available configurations on the README tab on the package here. The link will be in the description. Now we have configured the package. Before generating the icons, let's make sure that we still have the Flutter logo as our icon. As you can see, the app has the default icon. Now, let's go ahead and generate the icons. For that, we will open our terminal and write these comments. Flutter pub get, Flutter pub run, Flutter launcher icons main. As you can see, it tells us it has generated and overwritten the default icons for Android and iOS. So let's run the app to see the new icon. If everything went well, we should see our new icon instead of this one. Let's minimize the app to see the icon. As expected, we have replaced the default Flutter icon. Let's test it in the iOS simulator. Now we see our new icon. The best way to learn is by doing. Now go change your app icons using one of the approaches that you just learned. But if you would like to learn more about Flutter, watch this video or that video. Since you made it so far, please give us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future contents.